At CBF, we know that for you to change your body, you need to change your mind. Exercise and eating healthy is only part of the plan. We care about our members as we care about our family because our members become our family. It is not about competition, but support. It is not about being the strongest or the fastest, but about you defeating your negative self. It is about working together and making the task challenging and have fun. By the end, what matters is not how hard the session was, but that you take control of your mind so you can take control of your body. My name is Sandro Torres, and I'm happy you are part of our family. Welcome to Custom Body Fitness. Today, I'm going to share information that is going to help you in your life. If you are looking, if you are looking to be in peace, if you are looking to be financially free, if you are looking to be fit, if you're looking to be healthy, not getting sick, if you're looking to have a happy, functional family, if you are looking to have a successful business, and if you are looking to have a social, a, a successful social life, this video is for you. If you have already everything figured out and you already found your happiness, I don't think this video is gonna help you. And if you're not looking for anything, any of the things I mentioned, this video is not for you. But if you wanna learn a couple of things, this video is completely for you. I'm not sending you anything. If you know me, if you follow me, I don't make videos to sell. I make videos to persuade you to have a better life. Since I enjoy the fruits of the good habits, I want to teach you a couple of things that you can do to improve your life, that improve my life and really change my life and found my happiness. I have achieved many other things that I just mentioned. But what really matters is that you find your happiness. If you're not happy, doesn't matter how much money you make, doesn't matter how fit you are, doesn't matter how big your family is, doesn't matter how successful your business is and how many people around you, uh, you have around, if you're not happy, that doesn't matter. But if you can find your happiness between everything, among everything, that means that you're already very successful. So many of you know, know a little bit about my story. I'm going to summarize a little bit so I don't make this video too long so you know where I'm coming from and have an idea what, what I'm going to teach you. It's going to help you. I'm coming from a very dysfunctional, poor family. My mom was a heavy alcoholic. She she got lost when we when I was twelve years of age. She's been lost in then since then. We don't know where she is. Uh, my dad, he wasn't uh, part of my life since my mom was pregnant all the way to three years ago. That I decide decided to help him and bring him to the U.S. and join um, some of the good things, so USA, a free country. But I live in a very poor family where um, to buy a taco, it was very difficult for me. I became independent at 14 years of age. I started working at that time. I got into drugs. I wasn't heavy into drugs, but I did get into drugs. I got into alcohol. I wasn't heavy into alcohol, but I did get into alcohol, into smoking. I was in the, in the wrong path for a long period of time until I turned 20, year, 20 years 
uh, 20 years of age. Um, I didn't know how to manage my money. I wasn't very healthy. I was uh, very unsuccessful with in my social life. I had many relationships that didn't work and I owe people money. I didn't know how to save money. I didn't have any any resources for me to make money. The only way I could make money was by me working. And as soon as I made the money, I spend it. And then I'll ask for, for money. I borrow money from other people. Um, another thing is that I wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled. I had a very big hole in my heart. I was very empty. And I don't know how to explain that, but if you know what I'm talking about, you probably have an idea how that feels. Not doesn't matter what you do, if you party, if you do anything, you still feel empty inside. It wasn't until I turned 28 years of age that I started um, changing my life. And I turned my life around. Um... I'm 39 years of age right now, and I feel like I'm 20. And the reason why I feel that way, because I've been in shape since I turned 19 years of age. And it's difficult for me to say that, uh, that I've never been out of shape, because i actually never been out of shape since, since I started exercising. And one of the things that I enjoy right now, it's being in shape, being strong, being healthy, not suffer of any illnesses. Also, another thing that I have achieved right now, it's my fin fin financial freedom. I I make some money without working, so that's why I'm not so stressed. I do have a business and I do work, so don't get me wrong, I do work. But I work because I love what I do. One, I, I, I saw a friend a couple hours ago in, in, in a Starbucks. I was um, working there in the computer and she said that if I was working and I said yes, she said, do you ever have fun? And I said yes, I have fun all the time. I am come to the stu studio, train our members, improve their life. I write articles, I read, I take my dogs for a walk, I hike, I do my exercise. I create videos, I create programs, I do a lot of things, but everything that I do is fun. It's not that I'm actually working, working, but I love what I do. And I have some investments that is giving me money for me. If something happens, I still get that money without working, which is not my goal. My goal is not to retire. My goal is not to stop working. My goal is to continue bringing value to people and change people's life. So I have achieved that. Another thing that I have achieved is that that emptiness that I felt in my heart is not there anymore. I learned how to control my thoughts. I have uh, a connection with a superior power, with God. Also, I'm very successful with my social life. And right now I, ha I, I, I have a relationship. Actually, I'm married. I've been married for around eight months and people said that is my my marriage is is new and therefore that's why i'm so successful in my marriage and believe me i had other relationships and i can feel the difference when when you choose the right partner and not only choosing the right partner you know you you, you know how to play your role in in that relationship so playing it Playing, knowing how to play that role in that relationship and pick and choosing the right partner has uh, sh sh has shown me that that having a, a successful marriage is actually not difficult. It's like anything else. It's like having a business. It's like being in shape or anything else. It has some ups and it has some downs. But if you know how to deal with it and you know how, if you listen to your partner, it does pay off. So that's another thing that I have achieved lately. Uh, another thing, but business is very successful, can complain even with the pandemic, we still busy and the pandemic and the pandemic we still we stay open and people support us and uh, we didn't suffer economically 
in the way, I mean, every single business, not every single business, but a lot of businesses suffering the pandemic and they um, went back um, bankruptcy. We didn't. And we did, our income did decrease, but we we never had any fear or that. So if we're going to, uh, bec- uh, if we're going to, not make it one month and we're not going to have enough money to pay everything or to make money for us. We never had those, those stats. Thank God we were very successful. So the reason why I'm telling you that is that if you want to, like I mentioned in the beginning, be in peace, make sure your heart is very full and you're happy, which is why you actually living in this life. I'm going to teach you what I did to do that. The other thing is to have a successful um, functional family. I'm also going to teach you right now in a minute what I, what I did to learn how to do that. Because I also have a brother that I love. And thank God he is, um, he's doing the right thing. He's uh, healthy. He's, ha- he's, also, he's also married. He runs one of our custom body fitness locations. He makes good money, he's very stable, and he's growing, he's learning. And I think um, the reason also why he's so good is because I learned how to treat my brother and how to help him take the right path. Uh, another thing that, that that I learned, it's the, the business, make the successful business. I'm going to teach you how I did that as well. How to make money and how that money is, um, you don't have to work to get that money. Do investment. I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. And um, how to be, how to be successfully, how to successfully have a social life. And trust the people around you and have the right people around you because that's very important. So you're ready for the secret. The secret is very simple. I'm going to ta- I'm going to take you right now there. So for me to be able to achieve all that, it's one habit that taught me how to do the rest. So here you go. Reading. You want to read those all the books that I have read and that I'm still reading and I order more books. All this book taught me how to achieve what I already achieved. I read at least half an hour every day. At least. I think I'm putting those books correctly. I, I learned how to achieve how to achieve everything I already told you by reading books. So I really recommend that you start reading books, that you start doing what I do for you to achieve everything. So right now what I'm going to do is give you my 10 top books that I read. And then I'm going to start making videos, summarizing the books and what I learned from the books. But I do recommend that you read the books yourself because every single person makes their own conclusions according to how they read, why they learn and the notes they take. So my conclusions that I make from that book might be not your conclusions, but it will add to your knowledge. So I recommend you buy this book. So let's begin with the first one. The first book that I read, and by the way, this one is in Spanish. I don't know if it's in, if you can find it in English, but I believe you do. It's Flying Over the Swamp, Volar Sobre el Pantano. This book talks about how to become adversity. It's a compo. Um, you need to read the book. But one the the um the guy he was in gangs and he was in the wrong path doing drugs and so on until he um he all almost lost his family, especially his sister. And he talks about he started telling the story here how he um becomes a leader after that. The wife of this guy, he, he, she was abused, sexually abused by the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, and the, and the boyfriend's friend. And he talk, she talks about how she overcomes that. 
and how she also becomes a leader and how he meet this guy, which is the other guy that talks about the story and how the both of them overcome their adversity. It's a very good book. The other book that I really recommend and I think is one of the best ones is an eye-opening book is The Shack. This is an amazing book. This guy, he's full of hate. He doesn't love God. And the reason is because he lost his daughter and he's that abuse him. And I believe you have to read the book. I'm, I'm not going to tell you more details about that. But, but he meets actually God. Read the book and you make your conclusions out of that book. And God teaching how to live life, how to be forgetful, how to understand people, how to live between people and how not to judge others. It's a very an amazing book. I really recommend that book that you read that one. Next, the other one that I recommend is called Why You Clients Love. I have a business and I think this is an amazing book. It teaches you how to treat people because we all are people and we have our moments. And it teaches you what you can do so they feel love, so they feel that, that you care about them because there is a lot of things that we know that we should do, but we don't know how to do it. So that's a good book about how, how um, to treat clients. Another book I like is The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. It's a good book as well. This talks a very successful person. He was rich, but he wasn't happy. And he didn't, he didn't know he, what he was missing. Then he got a heart attack. And finally, he, decide, he decides to get rid of everything, all the money, everything. And he flies to 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 the uh to Asia he meets he meets the monk and they taught him how to live and what he was missing. Then he comes back and start teaching the lessons that he learned from the monks. It's a great book. The next book is Pathway to Success. That's a great book. It teaches you how how to treat people, how to make a business and how you exchange your services for money. But it's not a superficial teaching. It teaches you how people behave. It teaches you the psychology of, 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 of people and your psychology. Do you have to do the right thing to help people so people exchange the money for your services? The next book, it's going to be Trust Me. I'm lying. This book, it tells you about how the media, how the articles, and how television, and how the news, everything, they're actually lying. Because one person copies, comes with a lie, they publish an article, the other person copies that article, it, it teaches you everything. If you read that book, you can see through the lies and you can see through the agenda and the propaganda that the government has and start telling and, and you can start seeing what's the right thing to do. That's an amazing book. I really recommend that one. Talking about that, there is another book. Does it's called the, psycho the Psychology of Persuasion, Influence. This book teaches you how people who try to sell those things, they study human behavior. Think about that. They study human behavior. They know how we're going to react. They see our animal side. And they're trying to persuade us to buy things, to vote, to do things that we don't supposed to be doing. Because they know how they know how we work, they know our negative side. If we learn how to defeat our negative side, then we become better persons, and we can see again through the propaganda. So that book teaches you a lot of scientific studies and researches that have been done, and how manipulative we are, and how can we be manipulated. So it's a good book if you don't want to be manipulated by 
other people if you don't want to be manipulated by the government or anything else that's a very good book next book it's gonna be youth in ecstasy that's a very good book um it's in spanish i don't know if that one is in english as well but that tissue how we get lost in pleasure and how we can start getting control of that and how many things that we think they are acceptable they actually we have a psychological problem unless we figure out uh, what are all those what are those things we can control or negative side for pleasures and so on so one two three four five six seven eight so I'm going to show you another one that I'm reading right now. I read it once and I decided to read it again because I'm going over all the books again. That's the reason that, that why you see those books right here and they're not in the bookshelf because I'm rereading the whole, all these books again. They're so good. It's called... How's that straight? I think it's straight right there. Killing Sacred Cows. So this book talks about financial freedom. It talks about all the myth that is going out there about investments, about how to generate money, about opening businesses, about insurance, about a lot of things. It told you all the myth and it told you how to invest your money and how is the best way you can invest the money. It's an amazing book that opened my eyes to actually do the right thing with my money, to save it, invest it, and not just to save it because saving money doesn't, doesn't do anything unless you invest it. Unless you invest the money, and another thing is, is a, a tissue about liabilities, the things that takes money away from you, and things that um, gives gives give you money without working. That's a very good book. And the last book that I'm gonna show you, it's I don't have it right here with me. I don't see it. I think I lend the book. Oh, here it is. Rich Dad. Here it is. The business of the 21th century. Robert Kiyosaki. That's a very good book. Also a tissue about a couple of myths about money. So the whole point of reading is for you to learn it. And once you get that information, you apply it in your life. We talk about couple areas of your life that you need to improve to be happy. If you want to do that, if you want to do that, you need to learn exactly the topic that we talk about. There is so many books out there. I just gave you 10 of them. But if you want to be financially free, read books about that. If you want to be happy, read books about that. If you want to be in shape, read books about that. If you, have, if you want to have a connection with a superior power, read books about that. If you, have, if you want to have a functional life, read books about that. If you want to control your thoughts, read books about that. That's going to give you the knowledge that you learn that you need to become successful and happy in this life. I hope you like this video. I hope you, you get to buy some of those books and read them and apply in your life and your body transform. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed the content offered here, then I know you will enjoy these books. These are great tools to lead you to successful weight loss, better health, and greater happiness.